Hello everyone, today we have an interesting Olympiad algebra problem. We have 16 to the power sine square x plus 16 to the power cosine square x equal to 10 and we need to solve it. First of all we need to know that right here we have same basis right here and constant on the right and moreover we have different exponent, different power sine and cosine. But we need to know that if we write the main trigonometric equation sine square of x plus cosine square x equal to 1. This is the main rule that we need right here, so I put it in, in, a, in a bracket. So, moreover, we need to express this cosine within this sign. What we will have? We will have that cosine square x equal to 1 and bring this sign on the right side. We will have 1 minus sine square x. So, and let's use this substitution. So, cosine square of x equal to 1 minus sine square of x. And let's plug in this right here instead of this, this cosine. What we will have? We will have that sine, that 16, that 16 to the power sine square x plus 16 to the power, but not cosine square of x, but power 1 minus sine square of x. So 1 minus sine square x equal to equal to 10. So what we're going to do next? We need to know the rule. Right here we have a subtraction in our power, but moreover we need to know the rule. If we have a to the power m plus n, we will have a to the power m times a to the power n. So we can separate this separate this power using this rule. So let's use this rule in, in our case. We will have this element the same, 16 to the power sine square of x and plus 16 to the power 1 to the power m at first and the second power is minus sine square of x. So times 16 to the power minus sine square of x equal to, equal to 10. So we just use this rule in our case. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We have right here a negative power. If we bring this power to the our, to our denominator, we will have the positive power. So let's do this. Let's bring the element in our denominator. <coughs> what we will have? We will have this is the same 16 to the power sine square of x and plus 16 and times 1 over <coughs> 16 to the power sine square of x with the positive sign equal to 10. And, and we have a really good case because we are right here we have this element and this element we have we have the, the same. So we have we can use our substitution. So let this 16 to the power sine square of x equal to for example y. So this, this is our substitution. So 16 to the power sine square of x equal to y. And we will have a really interesting quadratic equation. We will have the next one. Right here we'll have y, y plus, right here we have 16 times 1 over y, or we can write it as, or we can write it as 16 times 1 over y and equal to 10. So from here we have this, this equation. How can you solve this equation within this y? Right here we have y in our denominator, so we can multiply it by by y and right here this denominator will disappear and we will have a really good quadratic equation. So multiplying by y we will have y square. Right here we will have only only 16. So plus 16 I write in the end and moreover I bring this 10y on the left. So minus 10y and plus 16 equal to equal to zero. So this is our quadratic equation and from here we can easily find our roots using the theorem the y first plus y second equal to 10 and y first times y second equal to 16. This is the theorem, I hope you know it, and from here you can easily find our roots. So as you can see from here easily if sum equal to 10 and product equal to 16 then our y first equal to 8 and y second equal to equal to 2. And if you plug in, we will have our roots. Moreover, we can check it. This root is good for us, 8 and 2. So from here, we will have two, two ways. The first way is 
using 8 and the second way using using these two. So let's write an equation because right here we'll have a substitution 16 to the power sine square of x equal to y but y we will have two cases first one and the second one. Let's solve this with 8. We will have that the 16 to the power sine square x equal to 8. We will have an exponential equation with in trigonometrical form. How can I solve this equation? Take a look. 16 and 8 it's really good because we can express this using 2. So this 16 we can express as 2 to the fourth power to the power sine square x equal to this 8 can be written as 2 as 2 cube. Moreover we can multiply this these powers because we raise a, a to the power b raised to the power x it will be equal a to the power b times x. So we will have the next case 2 to the power 4 sine square x equal to 2 cube. As we know about exponential equation, so we need to, if we have same basis of course, we need to write an equation with our with our powers. So let's write it. We will have 4 sine square of x equal to equal to 3 dividing both sides by 4 and we will get, we'll get our so sine square x equal to 3 over over 4. How can we find x? Of course, firstly, taking square root from both of the sides, we'll have that sine x equal to square root from 3 over, over 2, of course, over 2. And moreover, we can rewrite it in another way, because this is our, our table case. So we can write it as x equal to so the general solution. So x equal to minus 1, this will be our x first, so minus 1 to the power n, so the sign will be plus minus plus minus, right here we will have arctangent, or not arctangent, arc sine, arc sine square root of 3 over 2, and plot the period pi times n, of course n is the that of so this is our general solution and moreover we can rewrite it in another way because right here we have arc sine square root of 3 divided by 2. We know that x first equal to minus 1 to the power n and pi over 3 plus pn n is the So this is our, our first root. This is our first root, but this is u then y equal to 8, and we need to solve uh, another equation u then y equal to 2. And as you can see, this will be completely the same because we will have that 16 to the power sine square x equal to 2. How can I solve it using the same logic? This, this express using 2, we will have this expression 2 to the power 4 sine square x and equal to 2 to the first power. And from here, really interesting case, because from here, sine square x equal to 1 over, over 4. So using the same logic, taking square root from both of the sides, and we will have that sine x equal to 1, equal to 1 half. We can write it as plus minus, and right here plus minus, but right here we have a sine, so doesn't doesn't matter and we will have that our x equal to minus 1 to the power n arc sine arc sine 1 half and plus the period by n n e z so and from here arc sine 1 half we all know this this value so our x second will be equal to minus 1 to the power n and pi over 6 of course and plus by n and it z. So this is our second root. So this is our first root and this is our our second root. Not like very simplifying, not like a really good real number, not like one, two, three, but here we have a trigonometrical form x first and x second. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. I hope you understand this explanation. So right here using this rule to separate it and a, a really good case to substitute it because if you substitute you'll have quadratic equation and right here is not like easy way to solve it but 
I hope you understand it. If you don't, try to question in the comment. I try to answer to everyone. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.